All right, guys, thanks for clicking on the video. I got a bunch of shit over here I'm going to show you that I kind of picked up over. It's been a couple weeks now. I think it's been about, shit, like three, four weeks since I did a video. So, yeah, shit's uh, accumulated for sure. Been buying a lot of shit. Uh, been buying a lot of shit that's kind of been popping up on eBay here and there for, like, really good prices. So, I uh, got some of that uh, to show you. I can't really exactly remember what I showed in my last video that I did. So there might be one, two. There's probably a couple in there that I probably might have showed in my last video. Um, if I did, I apologize up front. But I'll run through them real quick, guys. We probably will be here for a minute. So please feel free to grab yourself something to drink, a snack, whatever. Let's sit back and have some fun with it. Uh, I did try to record this video a little bit ago, but for some reason iPad there decided that it's just going to cut off and dead in the middle of it. So, guys, if it all of a sudden the video ends, there will be a part two. Because I don't know how to edit none of that shit. So, I'll just make a part two to it uh, afterwards and just upload them both together. But, uh, yeah, just a heads up. I hope everybody's doing good. hope everybody's grabbing some really cool stuff. Um, especially with you guys that's probably uh, always looking to build your collection and put some more stuff on the shelves. Um I'm telling you, eBay's been really hot for me lately. Um, I'm sure you can see it right there, but I showed him in my last video, that Scorp uh, female uh, prisoner scorpion set right there. Couldn't believe I got that thing. That's the OG limited edition. Got that for like 24 bucks. Um, the Complete Sartana collection up there, which is the, uh, the OG one with the booklet in it. I got that thing for cheaper than what the, uh, the, uh, the repressing one without the booklet selling for now like sell price that's kind of shit so definitely got some stuff right here we'll dive into it but like i said hope you guys are doing good hopefully you've been picking up some cool shit uh, i've been trying to kind of uh look at a lot of the youtube subscribers that i subscribe to uh, i've been checking them out and stuff like that and i kind of i'll get to it but i kind of noticed like there's like two youtubers that i follow and I bought the same set that they both bought as well. And I'm seeing them both kind of like regret their decision of buying that set, which is fucking weird. It's like, if you didn't want it, why'd you buy it to begin with? Not talking shit, but it's just one of those things where it's like, if you didn't fucking want it, then what was the point in buying it? Shit like that just never makes sense to me. Oh, well, let's see. Let's get to it, guys. I got some shit just kind of stacked up. I know I showed you guys that uh, Indicator Road game set on that, that last video. I got that from... Uh, don't ask me why Happy Birthday Me was just sitting there. It's been a fucking while since I watched that movie, but I uh, got that uh, Rogue Games uh, indicator set. got that for a really good price, but I know I showed that in the last video. Okay, just got this one yesterday in the mail. Um, since Arrow Video announced its new limited edition set, so they're going to redo it as a 4K UHD set and put it out. So I got on eBay and got this one fucking really cheap, so I went ahead and jumped on it. That is the, uh, the Arrow Video limited edition of the Cat of Nine Tails. Got this for a really good price. Brand new still. Haven't even opened this yet. But I'll uh, I'll dig into it and uh, get into it and see what this one's got to offer. Um, I was trying to think exactly how much. I'm sure you guys don't really give a fuck. But I assure you, I got this uh, for a really good price. Uh, I'm sure that everybody that's on eBay right now dumping these, they're just using that money to fund the, uh, the pre-order for uh, the new 4K UHD set. And, you know, I might uh, I might end up getting those down the line or whatever. But I've had my eye on these now for a while. I just never wanted to pay the fucking 60, 80 bucks a pop for those. But um, I'm not saying they're not worth it or anything. But I've always liked to come across shit for, like, you know, really good deals. And believe me when I tell you, I got these fucking sets coming up here. I'm going to show you for really good deals. Um, here's another one right here. Um, Arrow Video hasn't announced this one as a 4K UHD release. No, they haven't. But it's, it's definitely coming down the line. That is uh, the limited edition of uh, Deep Red from Arrow Video. I'm going to pop in disc one of this and watch it. And that, uh, what is that? I think it's that 4K scan. The original negative. Fuck, that thing looks so good on this. Um, I do have the, um, I think that's the Blue Underground release up there on the shelf of uh, Deep Red. So I got this copy and I popped it in. I kind of went back and forth. I was like, damn, Arrow Video did a really good slick job with that. Oh, uh, this is the Region A uh, limited edition, which, um, from what I was led to believe, the Region A limited edition has a thicker, rigid case. But for some reason, the Region B one they put out for the limited edition was like a really thinner one. It wasn't one of the rigid cases like this one is. But I do know that Region B one has uh, a 
Um, an exclusive disc three, which is the soundtrack for Deep Red. And of course, everybody knows Goblin did the score for that. So, uh, wouldn't mind uh, having a soundtrack for that film. That's a great fucking movie. We'll keep going. Guys, I might show this in my last video, but maybe not. I just can't remember. But I also got this one as well. Oh, fuck, man, I've been, I got lucky with some of those limited editions. Fuck yeah. Uh, another Argento. Damn, that's three of them right there in a row. Uh, Bourbon Crystal Plumage. Uh, I do have this one from Blue Underground as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm telling you guys, uh, out of all three of them, of course, I think I may be paid like I think it was forty bucks for Deep Red, which is like a really good price. But Cat of Nine Tails and Bird with the Crystal Plume, which since Arrow Videos announced these is um, as putting these back out again as a limited edition set as the 4K UHD. I got both of those cheaper than hell. Couldn't believe what I got them for. Let's keep it going. Uh, we'll go for the next one right here. Here's the set I was talking about. Um. It's a big boy, too. Guys, if you don't own this, uh, I can assure you, and you're thinking about getting it, when you do get this fucking thing, it's got some weight to it. There's a lot of shit going on in this box, I can tell you that. I just, I'll flip it over right there for you. I'm sure you've seen the unboxing videos if you're really interested in getting this. Uh, this did cost a little bit, too, but fuck, you totally get what you pay for. There's uh, two, uh, you get the original theatrical version, director's cut of uh, Battle Royale, then you get Battle Royale 2 Requiem, which is the first time that Battle Royale 2 has ever been put in a box. Uh, from my understanding, it wasn't in the limited edition Blu-ray um, set that came out uh, years and years ago. Then uh, so Battle Royale 2 Revenge, which is kind of like a documentary of the making of Requiem. You got the official soundtrack. There's a fucking card game in here, and there's a huge book in there. So, uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's, I think I might have paid like 85, 90 bucks or something like that for this. This is a fucking huge set, though. There's a lot going on there, and you get a lot of good shit in that box. Um, yeah, like I was saying earlier, um, uh, I saw another YouTuber that I watch, and he was saying that he bought this, and he was uh, excited about getting it, and then he was like, well, I just set it behind my TV, because now I'm kind of regretting my purchase, I don't even want to look at it because I paid too much for it. And it's like, well, fuck, if you, if you didn't even want it, why'd you pay that much money for it? Fuck. Because it is. That's a lot of money. It's like 80, 90 bucks for something you don't fucking want. It's kind of like, that sucks. But uh, anyway, I, then I turned around and saw another fucking YouTuber do the same video. And I was starting to think, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I, I understand that Battle Royale had a limited edition Blu-ray set. Now, it was a nice big box, too. Uh, that came out. And I'm sure everybody's still holding on to that. Um, you know, people's got the window set with all three cuts of the film, but both cuts of the film, whatever. And that's all good, but it's like, fuck, man, if you didn't, if you regret buying it, man. Why'd you buy it in the fucking first place? Well, I'm sure we've all done that time to time. It's just, it's boutique label shit. If you really don't want it, fucking, I'm sure you're going to get your money right back out of it and probably 10 times more after it goes out of print and, whatever so we'll keep it going guys uh, i got this on ebay this is not a boutique label release so i put out by raven banner i can't believe i didn't already have this in the collection yet but that is uh turbo kid if anybody out there is watching this channel who has not seen this movie do yourself a favor go watch this fucking movie you'll have a blast um i did buy this used off of ebay it's a steel book of course got that little clear cover which i do like kind of reminds me of the mondo uh covers but uh, let's see, we'll open it up here. Uh, Blu-ray DVD, plus they threw in a booklet right there. I can tell you guys, that's... Uh, love that artwork, that's great. Got this for a really good price, I think I got this for like 15, 18 bucks after shipping or something like that. And uh, I don't know if this steel book is a little bit hard to come by now, since it's been out for a while, but I was seeing the other exact same steel book on eBay, and there were sellers on there, of course, wanting fucking like 50, 60, 65 bucks for it, and I landed that one for like $15. We'll keep going here. What are we going for next? All right, guys, while I'm thinking about it, um, let's see. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome, two weeks from now, is going to have their halfway to Black Friday sale. So, guys, do yourself a favor, and uh, if you're definitely interested in getting some uh, Vinegar Syndrome flicks for a really good price. And two weeks will be the time to do it. I will tell you, usually they're older titles. They still have the slipcover with them. Those usually run for about seventeen fifty. If it doesn't have the slipcover no more, it's usually uh, sixteen fifty, I think, or fifteen something like that. Fifteen fifty, sixteen fifty, something like that. 
But the older releases that still have the slip, you're looking at seventeen fifty. Um, keep in mind, guys, that pretty much that whole site goes down to fifty percent off. But don't think of it as like, okay, well the movie costs twenty eight bucks, so it's going to go down to fourteen dollars. It's not how it works. Uh, you know, that's, we're talking about fifty percent off the M the MS was a MSRP price or whatever it is. So, but I know I've seen a lot of people bitch about that before in the past. And when you do make that order. Keep in mind the vinegar center gets fucking slammed with orders and they're a small crew. You'll get your order, you know, might have to wait a month to get it, but you'll fucking get it. Um, I never had problems getting my shit from them. They always ship it in a nice big box, 30 bucks and all that. So as long as you got a little bit of patience, do yourself a favor, check out some shit. Uh, I would do like... Um, which I probably should. Like uh, some of my favorite picks from vinegar syndrome for people who's not really... Uh, familiar with their label of kind of what you would probably want to go for first, but everybody's got different tastes, and I'm telling you right now, I love some shitty movies, so if you're a person who doesn't like shitty movies, <laughs> you'd probably get on their site and buy all the recommendations I would tell you, and then you'd probably fucking hate me, so they have some great stuff, though. Let's keep it going, guys. All right, so I got this off of Orbit DVD, I think. Uh, I got this for a pretty good price. It's, they have, do have a limited edition version of this, but I just got the regular version. The limited edition version was long gone by the time I got there. It is the I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy uh, from 88 Films. Nothing really spectacular with this release. Each film gets its own disc in here, so it's a three disc set, and they put a slip cover over it. Um, there's no booklet in here, no nothing like that. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of these films, but my wife loves them, so got it for a really good price. So I was like, well... Let's get something that she'll dig for for the uh, for the collection. So I grabbed this and also got something else over there I bought that she actually likes too. They do have a limited edition set of this though. Um, I think that's long gone from 88 Films. I'm sure you can get on eBay and elsewhere and probably pay an arm and a leg for it. Uh, I'm just not the biggest fan of these movies that pump out that much money. So um, my wife, she can pretty much care less about you know the extra uh, the goodies and the packaging and you know, whatever else, so, this right here, that is fine with me, so that is the I Know What You Did Last Summer Trilogy, let's see, I'll go ahead and pull out the other one that I got to as well, this is the Urban Legend Trilogy, this is the limited edition set, got this for a really good price, I think I got it for like 40, 45 bucks, so not bad at all, I do have the first Urban Legend film, the collector's edition from Screen Factory up there, even got the poster over there, uh, but yeah, so they did a really good job on this release, nice, really thick case, Hopefully, 88 Films keeps it up with that because I do like that setup. Um, each in, uh, each film gets this individual case in there. Got the thick Blu-ray cases in there. Uh, one of the Blu-ray cases has the art cards. Uh, another case has the double-sided uh, double sided folded poster. And the third case has a booklet. And the booklet's pretty thick. It's not like, you know, it's not hardbound, real th uh, thick quality paper. But it's a nice thick booklet, though. So, uh, yeah. I was trying to think, I might have, I know I've watched the first film numerous times now, which I do dig that one. I think I went to go watch Final Cut a couple years ago, and I just wasn't feeling it, and I've never seen Bloody Mary, so I'll be honest with you, this was one of those things that when it first came out, I did enjoy the first one for what it was, but when I found out they were making more, I was like, great, here comes another franchise of some fucking movies, it's probably going to get worse as it goes, but anyway... So I got that. Let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I probably showed one of these in my last video, if not two of them. I know I just showed you the limited edition of that one, but I did look up on eBay and find the window edition of uh, Cat of Nine Tails. I got this so fucking dirt cheap, it wasn't even funny. And I always, I, I love adding on to the uh, the window sets from Arrow Video. I love these things. They're hard as fuck to come by most of the time. So anytime I can grab one for a really cheap price and add it to the collection, I will do it. Um, I'm trying to think of how much I got this for, and it was fucking super cheap. Uh, I guess since Arrow Video is going to put out that new limited edition set and the 4K UHD box set, that original limited edition and these window sets, the window set for this just fucking plummeted in price. And everybody's hawking them for whatever they can to uh, fund that new box set, so... I took full advantage of it, but it's got the booklet, the poster in there. This looks, yeah, it's one disc. So, um, I did grab this one before I grabbed that uh, limited edition set right there. Um, I just kind of looked up. I got this one in the mail, then turned around, got on eBay, and 
somebody was selling a brand new limited edition set of this one right here next to nothing so i was like fuck it it's a no-brainer i'll get both of them i don't care same thing with burger crystal plumage found that one as well um, i bought same story again i bought this one first and then the limited edition popped up on ebay everybody's just hawking this shit super cheap um, it was nothing to get on ebay and find these things for like 40 50 bucks pop before arrow video announced that they're re-releasing them again in the 4k uhd um so yeah, this was, it was cool as hell to uh, grab these up for a really cheap price. I know, showing you guys the same shit over and over again. Just different packaging and probably different uh, earlier scans of the films and shit like that. But it's for the collection, man. And I love Arrow Video, so I'll buy their shit. Same thing. Battle Royale. I put the booklet on the back just because it's way too fucking thick to try to cram in that case. I didn't like it crammed in there that tight. So I just put it on the back. But yeah, I think this is the three set right here. Yeah, I got this super fucking cheap. Um, I bought this one, then of course I found out that Orbit had the the big uh, 4K UHD boxes right there, and he only had so many in stock, so I went ahead and uh, scooped that up while I was at it. <clears throat> right, let's keep it going. I don't know if I showed this in my last video or not, but I'll show it again anyway. Uh, if I did, I apologize up front. This is from Indicators, the limited edition Blu-ray. This is uh, Sam Raimi's... Uh, crime wave uh, was this 1985 uh two different cuts of the film uh this is the limited edition set so was the early uh one with the booklet in it right there i do know they only print those booklets for so many releases and then they re-release uh they'll they'll keep the everything the same except for the booklet then you just get the special edition blu-ray so it's so lucky to get that i think i got that by 20 bucks or something like that so i went ahead and hopped on it so I can't wait to check that out too. I've had that I've had it now sitting on this table for a couple weeks and it's just one of those things that went straight into the watch stack and I'm just fucking slowly getting the things. Just ain't got time for shit. Here we go. Alright, we'll keep this going. I've um, got a couple from Eureka right here. I might have showed one or two of these in my last video, but if I didn't, cool, but if I did, I apologize. Um this is a double feature, um, a horror double feature from Eureka. This is Nightwing and Shadow of the Hawk. I don't know jack shit about either one of these movies. Um, got this for a pretty decent price. I think it's like 25, 26 bucks, something like that. I think I just threw it in a cart. Didn't get free shipping after you spend so much money or you select three titles or something. It's from Eureka. I don't mind buying their stuff. Um, I lucked up and got, was that a uh, Mind Warp, Monkey Shines, oh, shit, Dark Half. I could have swore I got something else up there. 976 Evil. So yeah, I've been laying a few uh, Eureka titles here lately. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to check this out. I don't really uh, know jack shit about them, but never know. Could be something good. I did upgrade this. I do have this, the, the original, uh, not original, I'd say. It was just the, the studio release of uh, Pulse there. Um, it's kind of an upgrade for me, I guess. Although the features look the fucking same. There is a collector's booklet in here, so... Uh, hopefully Eureka did a really good job on a, maybe a new scan or something. Hopefully, but anyway, it's got a slip cover to booklet with it. And, uh, I do like this movie. It's a pretty solid flip. Uh, this one right here, I really fucking like. This is Mick Garris right here. Sleepwalkers. Um, guys, I do have the collector's edition from Screen Factory of this. You can get the poster. I was, one of the, as soon as they announced this, I jumped on fucking Screen Factory's website and ordered that. But, uh. It's for a really good price. I think they got this for like 20 bucks or something. And I think there's a commentary and a special feature that's on here that's not on the Screen Factory one. I'm thinking. I remember I went over the special features for a lot of these uh, double dips I was going into for the Eureka titles. I was trying to find any kind of thing I could to justify double dipping. So, But anyway, I have Sleepwalkers slipcover, collector's uh, booklet inside. So um, I did pop this in, check it out too. It looks looks really really good. I think I uh, listen to what what commentary was that? Uh, uh, commentary with Mick Garris and uh, film historian Lee Gambin. So I did watch the film and then went back and turned the commentary on in the background while I was doing some shit. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys. So um, I did order a couple movies off of Amazon not too long ago. Um, usually I don't, everybody knows that watches this channel. I don't really care about, I don't like to order shit from Amazon that much. They have enough money to try to give it to the brick and mortar stores and the diabolic orbit and stuff like that just to kind of 
keep those businesses afloat. Amazon has enough fucking money. But I had no choice. I had to go through Amazon to get these because the price points were so different and the availability was another story. So uh, we'll show these right quick. Uh, I got this from Grindhouse Releasing. <clears throat> this is the Big Gun Down. It's a Fortis set. There's a lot of shit in this box too. Slip cover over it. Just fucking full of stuff. What is this? Uh, two Blu-rays, a DVD, and the soundtrack for the film. So I do like the fact that uh, they uh, throw in the soundtrack for the film. Uh, which Grindhouse, they have done that in the past before. Was that the Beyond? I think Cannibal, Col Cannibal Holocaust, Cannibal Felix. Yeah, they've, they've done Pieces. Yeah, yeah, they've done it a good bit. Guys, I will tell you something too. Just for anybody who wants to buy some of the releases from uh, Grindhouse Releasing. I went to go on eBay. I don't know. I just looked first for some reason just to see if I could find somebody selling this for a decent price. And the cheapest price I could find it for was like 45 50 bucks. And I was like, great. Is this thing already out of print? And I was seeing the sellers on their post listing in it as out of print. I go on Amazon. They're sitting right on Amazon for like 22 bucks. And I'm like, fuck, man. Okay. So I went and got through Amazon. Come to find out that Grindhouse Releasing... I've even heard Mike from Grindhouse even say this before. Um, Grindhouse releasing with their titles, they only print so many in a batch. So they're only going to print so much, put them out on the market. And they're not going to reprint them again very quickly. So once those sell through, it's not that they lost the license of the film. It's just going to take them a little while before they get a demand high enough to reprint, reprint them again. So a lot of people just assume, oh, it's out of print, so I can fucking ask triple what the fucking money, uh, what the movie retails for. So guys, just be uh, be aware of that. Don't want you getting ripped off and shit. But uh, yeah, got a good price on this thing. It was like 22, 24 bucks, something like that. But I can't wait to sit down with Cody and check that out because that is one that I have not seen yet, which is Lee Van Cleef, man. I I'm sure this guy's probably got like a fucking filmography with like 1,800 credits. But uh, I love the hell out of that dude. What, what a great fucking actor. Um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, sit down and check this out though. Uh, this next one right here, I'm going to show you. Definitely just fucking changed my life forever. This was one that Cody recommended to me. And man, that was a hell of a recommendation. I tip my hat to him. He fucking changed my life with this one right here. Um, this comes from a company called Film Movement Classics, which I'd never heard, heard of them before I got this one. Uh, this is by far one of the greatest fucking westerns I've ever seen in my life. And uh, Cody, I sure do appreciate the hell out of this recommendation for this. That is The Great Silence. Um, I got this, and then the next night I asked Cody, I was like, hey, let's sit down, let's pop this in, let's get on Discord, and let's have a wall with it. Within minutes of this movie, I already knew. I was like, holy fuck, like, this is great. Um, Sergio Corbucci film, Corbucci film. Uh, we'll tell you this, uh, there is, um, in the bonus features, there's two alternate endings. I did check those out. I'll be honest with you, I didn't really care for either one of the alternate endings. The ending I prefer is the ending that's in the film when you press play, of course. But that fucking ending is, <laughs> it is about as grim as possible. This movie just straight up doesn't give a fuck. That's for sure. Some of the most savage shit. Um, Klaus Kinski, Jesus Christ, that that guy is on another level in this flick. Uh, 1968, um, filmed in Italy and France. Yeah, it's uh, they did. Fucking movie definitely changed. Uh, I've seen a ton of westerns growing up. You know, my dad's always watched them. Um, been a big fan of it. You know, the Django movies, uh, fucking Good, Bad, and the Ugly. You name it. The old Eastwood flicks. I love them to death. But there's something about this one. Uh, just I've never, I've never seen a fucking western that got that raw before. And, uh, Cody, I sure do appreciate you recommending that. Um, I got my son to sit down in the living room while he was watching this. My son was digging the hell out of it. But even my son said, he was like, Jesus Christ, like, there's just, it's fucking, it's just brutal as it could possibly be. Even the fucking weather in here, as soon as you turn this film on, the snow is so deep in this fucking film that you're watching the horses, like, fucking fall over. Because it's just impossible for them to walk in this shit. It's like kind of like John Carpenter's The Thing. You put that movie on, it's like you need a jacket like 15 minutes later because you're already feeling the weather. It's like, fuck, man, this is a cold movie. And uh, the brutality, the rawness, 
just grittiness of it is just as cold as the fucking snow. It's it's a great flick. So anybody who hasn't seen that movie and you enjoy westerns, I highly recommend that movie. If it's not in your collection, I don't know how the fuck I never heard of this movie. I knew of its release until Cody pushed it on me. And I'm super fucking glad to have this in a collection. But that is the great silence, guys. And make sure you check that shit out. I need to get with Alan about that. He enjoys westerns and I... Don't know if he's seen that or not, so I gotta let him know about that shit. <clears throat> Let's keep it going, guys. Uh, I got this from uh, Orbit DVD. Uh, I kind of just threw this in there to get some free shipping, I think. God, I play so many orders with them, it's not even funny. But this is the 88 Films release of Prison. Uh, I do have the Screen Factory Collector's Edition of this. Um, I fucking, I am a sucker for anything Empire Pictures related. Uh, that is... That is some of the best shit. Um, anyway, I do have this, like I said, I do have the Screen Factory Collector's Edition of this. Um, I grabbed this one, scooped it up, got it, popped it in. I went all through it, the special features and everything. And I can tell you right now, I know that Screen Factory release is now out of print. I'm, a, I'm thinking now. I know Dolls is, which is another Empire um, flick that they uh, let go out of print from. Beyond's another one. And I believe Prison is as well which is sad, but I can tell you if I had to take my pick between which release I would want on my shelf, it would definitely be that Screen Factory one. The Screen Factory one has a ton of special features on it. This one's really lacking the special features. I'll tell you, it looks fucking great. It looks beautiful. But when it comes to the bonus features, I mean, you got original trailer, the archive still gallery, a trailer reel, which I enjoyed that. I think it's like 18 minutes of trailers that 88 Films has now acquired uh, the license for. So that was all right and everything, but... Other than that, that's about it. You're not getting much for special features. You look at the Screen Factory one, flip it over on the back, and there's a ton of shit, fucking commentaries. I think they even got an interview with Kane Hodder in there, even though he only played like this very little role in the film. But they put it in there, though. Let me tell you guys that original artwork right there. That's just, ugh. I remember seeing that cover right there just on, on, on the shelves whenever uh, I was in the video store back in the day, just seeing that as a kid. On fucking VHS, but anyway, uh, I do like their slipcover though. It kind of feels weird. It's got like this—I uh, don't know the finish on it, but I do like their artwork though. Like I said, um, I'm glad I got it. It looks good and everything. And of course, it'll stay on the shelf and all that, and I'll go back to it every once in a while. But eh, as far as features go, if I had to take my pick, it'd definitely be that Screen Factory release. So, would have been nice to see 88 films give that a lot of love because 88 films has been getting a lot of the full moon uh license uh ship um i know they put out the creeps creepazoids is over there oh fuck uh come on uh shit I, I i remember seeing a bunch of the uh the full moon stuff on 88 films um i believe they got a little bit of the empire pictures films as well like i said guys i'm a sucker for the empire shit Alright, we'll keep this going. It's walking through Best Buy. I found this one sitting on a shelf for like 14, 15 bucks. Uh haven't really heard a whole lot about it. Had a friend who said it was really good, and another buddy who said, Yeah, fuck that movie. But I went ahead and got it. That is Willie's Wonderland, Nicolas Cage. Um I've heard this as kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's on acid kind of thing. Let's see, uh 89 minutes. And from what I heard, I think uh, Nicolas Cage doesn't even speak one word of fucking dialogue through this whole film. But uh, I'm pretty eager to check this out. I think this is going to be one of those flicks where I'm probably going to have a few beers and have a few friends watch it with me. That is Willy's Wonderland. Uh, let's see. Damn, I think I just stacked some shit. Man, I got some stuff over there, too. Guys, I'm pretty sure I might have showed these in my last video, but if I didn't, I'll go ahead and show them now. Um, got this one from Massacre Video. I got it on eBay, actually. But it's from Massacre Video. That's Hackle Lantern. We watched this uh, for one of the Halloween specials on Joe Bob Briggs on um, the last drive-in. I fell in love with this fucking movie. This is, you want to talk about a bad movie, this is a bad movie, but it's so fucking bad it's good. Um, so yeah, grab this one. From my understanding, from what I've seen, uh, there's two different releases of this film from Massacre Video. I got the orange one, which means that it has the Blu-ray and the DVD in it. And I think they have one that's just blue, and it just has the Blu-ray in it. Now, I believe when they originally released this thing as the combo pack, it was like this um, this limited edition set. It had a slipcover with it. So, if anybody out there 
might have the slip cover for this maybe it came with a booklet or something i don't know about if you guys got any news any kind of info on it let me know uh, if you have a copy of this movie that's like a you know different edition it's got a bunch of shit with it um you looking to sell it or trade it let me know uh, i'll be more than happy to make a deal with you um, like I said, love the hell out of movie. I know a lot of people hate that fucking movie. And the next one, they probably, you guys probably hate this shit as well, but I love stuff like this. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I showed this in the last video, so just bear with me. Forgive me for it. But this is, uh, Stuart Baker, Nightmare Maker. And, um, I believe Code Red initially put this out a while back, and maybe it might have went out of print. They temporarily lost the license, or maybe they just didn't print enough. But I do know that. Uh, I went to go look for this after we watched it on Shudder. Me and the fellas, I fell in love with this shit immediately. This is the French copy of it. I only bought it because it was a lot cheaper. There was like people on eBay wanting like 50, 60 bucks for the, code, the, the first uh, Code Red release of it. And I wasn't going to pay that for it, so I got a French copy. Um, it's in English and everything, so I'm good with that. So I bought it, and then a few weeks later, of course, Code Red releases a fucking thing on Facebook saying, hey, we're going to repress, uh, we're going to <laughs> re-release Stuart Baker Nightmare Maker, going to come with a slipcover and all kinds of good shit, and we're going to put it out in August, so I guess I'll be getting that one too, but this will hold me over till then, and guys, I had a lot of fun with this fucking flick. If you have Shudder, and you like some bad movies, definitely check this out, this was, uh, this was definitely a fucking great experience. I was about six or seven beers in, and I was loving it, and I don't think the fellas too much cared for it that much, and as soon as we got done, the credits rolled. I told everybody, I was like, give me one sec, I'll be right back. Went over to eBay and ordered this bitch immediately for the collection. Had to have it. Here's what I got from Orbit DVD. is another one of those things where I ordered so much shit, or I ordered just a couple things, and I was like, well, let me just throw this in there to get free shipping or something like that. I can't remember. I guess for a really good price though, and it's limited to eight thousand. That is uh, indicators release of scum. Uh, I think I watched a trailer for this, read the synopsis. I might even watched a YouTube reviewer on this set. And I was pretty sold on. I was like, well, something different for the collection. I don't think I've ever really seen anything like this uh, from nineteen seventy nine. So you know, Kingdom film, uh, ninety seven minutes. And uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll pop this open sooner or later and uh, get into it. I'm be honest with you, it was just one of those things I threw in there because I was like, fuck it, let's grab something, get some free shipping. And from what I've seen of uh, the reviewer on YouTube, they were a fan of the film. Uh, I believe Cody told me this might have been one of those movies that was kind of like a hard watch. Uh, we might have been talking about Irreversible. I know he told me that like, Irreversible fucking scarred him as a kid or something, which kind of makes me want to go order that shit because I want to see what the fuck is up. But yeah, guys, that is uh, Scum from Powerhouse Indicator. I wish I could tell you more about it, but I just don't know jack shit about it. <sighs> All right. What are we going to go with? Oh, damn, I almost bent that, too. All right, guys. So, I already have the Blu-ray limited edition set from Arrow Video of this one. But they re-released it in 4K, and I'm a sucker, and I had to fucking go ahead and jump on this, because this is one of my favorite films. That is the 4K UHD Arrow Video set of Donnie Darko. And a uh, nice set, nice hardcover book. They got the poster in there. Um, there's a theatrical cut in here, and there's also the director's cut. I do know that Arrow Video released a statement. There's some people who's having um, issues with the theatrical cut. And from what I saw that Arrow Video posted was this is something to do with the disc being read by certain players. I have no idea. Um, I did grab mine. I popped in the director's cut, which is disc two. And I watched that, and it looked fucking great, sounded great, loved the hell out of this movie. I'm, I'm going to watch Donnie Darko. It's going to be the director's cut anyway. Um, kind of like you know, to have more instead of less. But I understand, the, I mean, I as well, the theatrical cuts in here, if it's fucked up, I want the corrected shit. But Arrow Video definitely will. They'll Whatever, whatever the problem is, they'll fix it. They'll get on top of it, so... I know a lot of people stressing about that, talking a lot of shit on Facebook. But I can tell you this, I bought that fucking Demons limited edition set. There was a problem with Disc 1 in there, which is the first Demons film, something with an audio issue. Before I even had a chance to crack the fucking thing open and watch it, Arrow Video had sent me a 4K UHD replacement disc for my set. And I had the Blu-ray one, so I had to contact them and be like, hey, like I don't mind it, but it's kind of like I ordered the Blu-ray set and I'm OCD about shit like that, so can you send me the corrected blu-ray disc 
And they told me just to basically keep the 4K UHD replacement disc they sent me for my troubles. And uh, they'll send me the Blu-ray. And sure enough, a couple days later, there's my fucking uh, replacement Blu-ray disc. So, got both of those there up on the shelf, which I could probably reach them. But, there those are. That's the 4K and the Blu-ray one right there. Um, so, yeah. Very glad to get those. And Arrow, they were very quick about fixing this shit. So, guys, I assure you, if you're holding back about getting this, or you're a little... Are you a little upset that one of your discs in there might be fucked up? I assure you that Arrow Video will fix the shit. They're really good about their customer service, and they are awesome. I do need to pop in disc one just to see, maybe is mine affected or something, you know, anything. Anyway, I don't know. Who fucking knows? But I'll pop it in sooner or later and find out. All right, so or these right here got the ease. What the hell else? Oh, yeah, I got prison with these two. That's right, because I threw that one in here to get the free shipping. That's what it was. So, Vinegar Syndrome just put this one out. This is a Kevin Tinney film, and I had to have this. I was super excited. I believe Kevin Tinney himself leaked this movie before Vinegar Syndrome had a chance to announce it. But I'm sure they didn't really give a fuck. Guys, that is the seller. Um, I believe that there's a director's cut in here that no that the public's never seen before. I'm trying to see. It's uh, newly scanned and restored in 2K from its 35 millimeter original camera negative, and the director's personal 35 millimeter lab print. So pretty much nobody had seen the director's cut of it except for Kevin Tinney. So thankfully he still had that. And uh, it says includes two versions of the film: the theatrical cut and the unseen director's cut. So of course this was Kevin Tinney's personal cut. Uh, his director's cut of the film that just wasn't released to the public. So for him to let uh, turn it over to Vinegar Syndrome and let him put both versions, that's fucking awesome. Uh, let's see, from 1989, 86 Minutes, of course directed by Kevin Tinney, uh, starring Patrick Kilpatrick, uh, Chris Miller, Don Callier, and Suzanne S Savoy. I don't know, probably butchered that fucking name. Yeah, I had to grab this one, though. Um... I was like showing a pic of this to my buddy. He was like, why didn't you just wait till the vinegar syndrome sale? You probably could have got that cheaper. And I'm like, nope. The way it works is whenever the halfway to Black Friday sale or the Black Friday sale itself, if films have come out within three months of that sale, those are not discounted. So, anyway. But I had to have that. I'm very much looking forward into jumping into that, which is fucking a shame I haven't watched that yet. But it is what it is. All right, so I got this box set right here. Here's another one that Vinegar Syndrome just released. And this definitely had my interest. I can't wait to pop into these and uh, find out what it's all about. And from what I see from different uh, YouTube reviewers, <laughs> there's one in here that's just definitely a shit film. But uh, you know, that's just their opinion. Could be uh, could be something gold to me. I do like some bad films, apparently. So anyway, guys, that is uh, Homegrown Horrors Volume One. Uh, I'm sh of course, just like the Forgotten Giallo sets, there's three of those now. Um, so Homegrown Horrors right there, Volume 1. So I'm sure there's going to be a Volume 2 in the future. I'm sure they already have three films lined up for that. Probably just working on it. Um, I think they're releasing another box set uh, during the Black Friday sale if it's not already up, already up on the site, which I probably should have looked. I think it's like Televised Terrors or something. And there's another box set. I completely forgot what the fuck it was, though. But anyway, this is the Homegrown Horrors Volume 1 set. Guys, I'm hoping that camera is picking that up good for you. Love the artwork on that. That looks fucking great. There's the name of the films right there on the side, which is Fatal Exam, Beyond Dreams Door, and Winter Beast. So, I uh, can't wait to check these out. Top opens up just like that. Then your three films, they just slide out of the box. Not thick-ass box. That's like some of the thickest shit, too. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome does a great job. Guys, I haven't even opened these yet, but uh, here's the first one up, which is Winter Beast. Right here. Oh, I believe that's 1992, 76 minutes. This shit looks very independent, I can tell you that. So, very independent 1992 film. Got a ton of fucking special features on it, though. Um, scanning 2K from its original 16mm and Super 8mm film notes. Woo, this is going to be some cheap shit. Uh, Beyond Dreams Door, right here, this is 1988, so late 80s, 80 minutes. Um, I'm trying to see here. Uh, newly scanned and restored in 2K from its 16mm original camera negative. Guys, keep in mind that a 16mm 
that's uh, basically what uh, Night of the Living Dead was shot on. So that was fucking back in the day. So for this to be an eighties film and shot on sixteen millimeter, pretty much says a lot about the budget. Um, and here's the last one up, guys. This is Fatal Exam. Got great fucking cover art for these guys. I'll hold those up a little bit closer. Maybe you can get a good look at them. They did great artwork for these. We got Fatal Exam. What's that? 1988. 114 minutes. So definitely the longest film right here. Being 114 minutes. Uh, the other two is pretty fucking short. We took out about an hour and 14, hour and 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, almost two hours right here. Newly scanned and restored in 2K from a 16 millimeter original camera negative. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are some very independent, very low budget films. It says a truly local slice of ultra low budget supernatural slasher made by a first time cast and crew based in St. Louis, Missouri. Jack Snyder's fail exam plays its haunted house tropes for its first half before shifting gears into slice and dice mayhem. So, yeah, I can't wait to check them out. I'm, I'm always interested in shit like that. Um, guys, I will tell you, I've bought a lot of Vinegar Syndrome titles over the years now. Um, there is some that I just love to death, can't get enough of. And then there is some that I have bought where I'm just like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did I buy this for? But when you go in blind buying stuff like that, sometimes it just, shit like that happens. Uh, you buy something, you have no idea what it is you're buying. Shit like that's going to happen. But I can tell you guys that sell is coming up, though. And just some of my personal favorites. Of course, my number one favorite from Vinegar Syndrome was just released for the Black Friday sale 2020. That is none other than Fade to Black. I love that fucking movie. I cannot, still can't believe that that became a reality, especially through Vinegar Syndrome. I was assuming somebody else would grab that whenever that possibility came open. I guess nobody else chased it hard enough, though. But, uh, definitely uh, Fade to Black. Um, another great release is that uh, that Deadly Games, uh, Dial Coach Santa Claus. That is a fucking beautiful 4K release. Um, it is awesome. It's worth every penny. So if you guys are into Christmas horror, that is a great film right there to look forward to. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome Cell. And that will be in the cell. Um, let's see. Is it called Blood Games? That's a fucking great revenge flick if I've ever seen one. A lot of people shit on that film. I'll, as soon as I got that film, I watched it and just loved it. I've watched that film numerous times since I've had it. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, the Severed Arm, which is it's kind of so bad. It's kind of good in a way. I wouldn't recommend that for everybody, though. Um, another one, Dolly Dearest. Um, had a lot of fun with that. Fucking that Spookies release is great. Guys, I mean, there is... <laughs> there is more that I like that I don't like. There is some stinkers in there, though. I just got to be honest. Um, fucking, you know, Bloody New Year, Splatter University, Grandmother's House. I love the fuck out of those. I was totally surprised by Party Line over there. Um, knew nothing about that flick. Took a chance. Spent $17.50. That bitch rolled in. I opened it up. Popped it in. Me and my wife had a blast with that flick. Uh, the Children, which I love. Cutting Class. Ice Cream Man is one of my top favorites from Vinegar Syndrome. That is a great release. And it even has the original Summer School at... The summer school episode of Joe Bob Briggs on there is a special feature and it shows the whole film. So if you like Joe Bob Briggs and you appreciate that shit, you could buy it just for that and you totally got your fucking money's worth. Uh, Demon Win, another Kevin Tinney film over there from uh, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Witch Trap. That's a great fucking release. Um, they just literally just put out a new slipcover for that. It's been a release for a while, but they did they do this practice where they make four new slipcovers every sale, two sales you know, a year, and they make uh, four new slip covers for prior releases, so uh, Jack Frost was a great release, Undertaker, great underrated Joe Spinell film, um, I'm sure a lot of people would have never even found out about that movie or had a chance to watch that fucking movie if it wouldn't have been for Vinegar Syndrome, uh, great Linnea Quigley film right there, Nightmare Sisters, which is a great, uh, it's it's like uh, Swarty Babes in the Slime Ball Bowl around, that fucking movie's great, um, if you like some cheesy shit, that's the way to go. Um, Evils in the Night, that's another great one. Luther the Geek is going to be uh, up there. It's like my top five. It's That's one of those trauma films that's... I'm, oh, I worship that shit. Love it. Uh, Christmas Evil, great. Another great Christmas slasher movie. Uh, um, I've heard great things about Punk Vacation. Uh, Raw Force, which I just haven't watched yet. Heard so-so things about Demonoid. I did watch Pigs. That was another one I was really anticipating, but... 
Uh, probably it deserves another watch though because it really didn't hit me the first time. So uh, yeah, guys, definitely keep an open mind when it comes to that vinegar syndrome. So I want to see you guys get some great stuff and hey, hit me up in the comment section. Uh, you know, make a video or something. Just let me know what you get and what you got your uh, what you got your eye on. If there's anything I've got that I've ever shared in my videos or something, guys, just uh, you know hit me up and you want to know some more about it or just hit me up. I'll be glad to help you out with it. But yeah, guys, I think that's, uh, I think I got a few more things in the back back there. I'm just hoping my shit doesn't fall down when I pick it up, but we're going to try it. All right, I think this might be almost at 45 minutes in. All right, guys, uh, my wife picked this one up. I didn't have this in the collection for some reason, but she found it for a really good price. So I'll just slip with it and everything, so she grabbed that. That is doctor sleep right there and it uh, includes the director's cut as well as the theatrical cut i'm not really sure if the 4k uhd copy has the includes the director's cut or not i'll probably have to yeah, i probably not really look into it to be honest but i wouldn't mind knowing but uh but yeah doctor sleep so glad you grabbed that one i was walking through best buy and grabbed these two for like a really good price i think this was like 13 bucks that's the uh, 4k uhd of total recall i think this is a three disc set i believe and uh, so scoop that up for 13 bucks for a 4K UHD and shit. And I got this one for like 10 bucks. I uh, missed that on the steel book, but I went ahead and grabbed this stuff to slip with it. So got that for like 10 bucks. So scoop that up as well. Guys, I'm trying to make sure I just don't have a bunch of shit laying around in a different stack somewhere that I just don't know about. I think that might be it. Let's see, yeah. Guys, I think, yeah, I think that might be it. I hope I pulled down everything that I got recently. I'm sure I probably showed a few things that I showed in my last video, but you just have to forgive me because I get a little scatterbrained with all this shit. I keep buying a bunch of shit, and it keeps kind of stacking up. So, but yeah, guys, that was the video. Hope everybody's uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Please hit me up in the comments section. Uh, you know, if you guys picked up any of those that I showed or anything, um, anything I should know about them, please hit me up in the comments section. Um, I do have a, I have a few more orders coming in. I think I got one from eBay coming in. Of course, I placed another Orbit DVD order. Fuck, man, that guy's getting a, whew, that guy's getting a lot of my money. But I love their website, though. Um, I love the fact that he's getting into imports and all that stuff. Guys, do yourself a favor if you like to. He doesn't only just carry imports. He carries a, a lot of boutique shit that's here in the states too. But one of my main things is I love that he actually carries a lot of the import stuff. And he's right here in North Carolina, which is right next door to me. So I can order my shit from him. And I can literally get it like 48 to 72 hours later, which is fucking great. So I'm getting a little spoiled of that because like I literally make an order with him. And I'm getting his shit faster than what I normally get from like Amazon and other things. So I love supporting him though. He is an independent store. He's been around for a decade, but he's only been selling... His merchandise online now for the past year especially when he was due uh when he was closed due to covid to make up for some of that uh that foot traffic that was not coming into the store he had to make some ends meet somewhere else but guys hope you enjoyed the video please hit me up in the comments section hit that like button subscribe if you want to have a lot of fun i know i ramble on my lot my videos a lot but i try to be a little bit honest about where i got my shit from uh you know at least trying to for this video, I couldn't really remember a lot of the price points. I knew I hollered out a, a good bit of them as I went along, but there was some in there I just can't really fucking remember. So it's, whenever I buy so much shit at once, it's kind of hard to remember exactly what I paid for what. But anyway, guys, uh, hope everybody's doing good. And uh, until next time, stay safe. Be careful.